What appeals to me about hunting is really just that connection you get to the land. To me, you know, being New Mexican is uh, pretty closely linked to being a hunter. Um, that's my family's heritage and that's something I definitely hope to pass on to my kids in the future. Americans choose to hunt for many reasons, and those traditions are dependent on healthy wildlife populations. Big game animals, like deer and elk, must move across the landscape to survive and thrive throughout the changing seasons. At the same time, we as a nation depend on natural resources and are making land use decisions that impact the ability of wildlife to move and use their habitats. Fortunately, our understanding of where and how much wildlife move is greatly increasing because of advancements in GPS technology. This increased understanding of wildlife behavior can help us make smarter decisions about how we choose to manage our natural resources. That is why many states in the West, including New Mexico, are studying how wildlife travel across the landscape. New Mexico was the first state in the Union to pass a Migration Corridors Act, and now with the uh, modern technology that we have with uh, GPS collaring, uh, we can put these collars on uh, deer, elk, and pronghorn, and we can track their movement so we can identify the critical habitats that these deer and elk and pronghorn are moving into so we can uh, manage these lands better for wildlife and wildlife habitat. Intact and connected areas of habitat are increasingly recognized as important for sustaining wildlife populations and outdoor recreation. In New Mexico, outdoor recreation, including hunting and fishing, is a $2.3 billion a year industry. Outdoorsmen and women are spending their hard-earned money on pursuing their outdoor passions, and as a result, local economies are benefiting from it. Conserving habitat for migrating species will not only strengthen the growing economy, but also ensure healthy wildlife populations. One of the new revelations of the collaring technology through global positioning system collars is the fact that we now know they actually stop over. And this is really, really important. These stopover areas are absolutely vital. If those are gone, it means the animals may have to move faster or spend less time in an area where they were used to uh, gathering key resources to finish their migrations. And they may enter winter range in poorer condition. And we know that animals have to go into that winter range in good condition, otherwise they may not survive during a tough winter. We have a lot of um, historic and, and local expert knowledge of big game movements on the landscape. A lot of local biologists and game wardens know that the animals move into or out of these areas seasonally, but we haven't identified those specifically. It's more just anecdotal evidence. New Mexico is in the early stages of identifying where these corridors actually exist on the landscape. We started our capture this fall for pronghorn and we caught them in a high elevation population around, say at about 10,000 feet. And so we caught a handful of them this fall. Um, we're planning to catch additional animals this winter. We know they're moving, but we don't know where they're moving to. It's, it's really, it's like, kind of like Christmas morning sometimes, like, oh man, there's, let's check it today and see what happens. There's a new dot on the landscape or, um, or wow, this animal was up here for a week and then it just, it just took off and now it's 15 miles away within, a 12-hour period. Collecting data is just the first step. Once wildlife movement patterns are mapped by the New Mexico Game and Fish Department, the agency will need to work with its partners at the state, federal, and local levels to ensure the long-term conservation of these habitats. This includes public land management agencies like the Forest Service and Bureau of Land Management. Managing the National Forest System for multiple uses is an inherently complex and often controversial job. The Forest Service has a multiple use mandate that includes maintaining the viability of fish and wildlife populations on the national forest system. So we have a responsibility in the suite of values that the Forest Service provides to make sure that we're doing a good job of providing habitat that allows populations to persist into the future. Balancing the needs of wildlife with the need for energy, housing, and transportation can be a challenge. That is why having precise information about wildlife movement can help us successfully conserve wildlife habitat while still allowing development in appropriate areas. Creating balanced land management plans will benefit the people of New Mexico and the wildlife for generations. 
What I really enjoy about being an outfitter and a guide is taking people out, you know, getting them a chance to harvest an animal. Uh, they enjoy New Mexico, the scenery of New Mexico, and showing them our culture and showing them what great hunting New Mexico does have. Um, it's pretty core to our lifestyle. It's how you know we like to consume our food. It's how we um, hang out and you know grow closer. And to me, the experiences I've had in the outdoors hunting is unmatched. There's nothing else I've ever done that even comes close to the experiences I've had in nature while I'm in in a hunting situation. There's a lot of things that impact wildlife habitat. Uh, and of course, our public lands are, are being put under a lot of pressure these days for all types of development. You know, we're seeing more and more human encroachment in our, in our wild areas and, and in our forests and BLM lands. And so the more that we can know about how the wildlife are moving and these habitats that are so important and vital to them, the more uh, informed we can be as far as, as directing the agencies on how to manage these lands for balanced use. If we are going to effectively as a community of conservationists, government, non-government, federal, state, members of the public, if we're gonna do our job, we need to effectively consider the fact that the summer range, the winter range, these areas need to be linked, herds need to be able to go where they've always gone, and over time as we continue to take action at the landscape scale, we need to be considerate of how these pieces of habitat fit together. Because we're not gonna succeed managing a national forest within its boundaries. We're not gonna succeed drawing lines at the edge of the BLM, and we're not gonna succeed thinking about only activities that could occur on private land. There needs to be a very holistic view of what habitat is, what landscape scale ecological integrity means, and how these different pieces of the puzzle fit together so that wildlife can persist over the long haul. That need for wild things is what makes New Mexico what it is. I couldn't imagine living here without it. And so to me, um, you know, that integrity of our ecosystems and having these beautiful animals on our landscape isn't just a plus, it's central to, you know, our very existence and, you know, making sure that we can not only hunt and have these amazing outdoor experiences, but, you know, we have a full intact landscape that defines um, the American West.